Hello and welcome all. Today we are going to explain how we can make a transformer for a desired output. From this equation we can know that if we know the power that means the output voltage and current. If we want 5 volt at this point and 2 ampere current has to be flown to. If a load is connected and we want a 2 ampere of current is flown to the circuit then the power will be 10 watts. From this equation, voltage is 5 volt and current is 2 ampere. Then the power is. Then how we can make a transformer? So from this circuit, we know that we are converting our AC signal, 230 volt AC signal, to DC using a rectifier. So the output of the rectifier should be a DC voltage. This voltage is called V in. So if we know the V in voltage, if we know the power, we can select a core. In the data sheet of the core, the area of the core will be mentioned. This is the area. This is the area. The area of the core is mentioned. If we know the area of the core, then how we can calculate the number of turns that we have to bound. This is given by this equation. As we know that voltage is equal to N into D5 by DT. Here N is the number of primary turns. We rectify an AC voltage or AC voltage. This should be around 320 voltage. The v, so we should Vn should be around 320 voltages. After rectification, we will know this term. We already know that the phi, phi means Bm into AC. What is Bm? Bm is the maximum flux density that the core can handle. If this is the core, the core has a maximum flux density. If we use ferrite as the core for high frequencies it has a flux density of 0.2 tesla its maximum flux density is around 0.3 tesla if this is the flux and this is the tesla if we go like this this is 0.3 when 0.3 will happen the flux is almost get full so we are using a point around this area use ferrite the flux density will be 0.2 tesla the voltage is around 320 volt and ac we can measure the area this is the core area we can measure the core area so flux is bm into d ac so we can replace this this 5 with bm into ac so the equation now become vn is equal to n piece written here ac is a constant this is a constant and d5 d vm by dt that means what is the ch rate of change of flux in one second this is in one second uh, how fast the flux is changing that means if the voltage is more the flux change will be if the input voltage is high, more flux will be generated in order to handle that the area of the core has to be high. The area of the core is related to the voltage more than the current. As this voltage is a constant and when we wound the wire on the primary side, it has a particular inductance. The, the, the inductance is also a constant. So the input voltage is a constant and the inductance is a constant. So the current through this will be also a constant. The current is increasing linearly because the voltage and the inductance are a constant value. The flux is also increasing linearly like this. What dB by dt means that it is change in flux. But here the, it is mentioned as delta Bm by dt. That means it is changing linearly so that we have put delta. We can write that Vn is equal to Np into Ac into this Bm divided by this means if we own this transistor for a particular time how much flux it will increase this is the maximum flux that can occur as we know that when the transistor is on current is flowing through the circuit and the magnetic field inside the core increasing and it has a limit if we continuously on this transistor property of inductance will be loss so before that we have to close this transistor what is the time that we can own this transistor to have the maximum flux this is given by 
usually this is a forward converter forward converter is usually on on for only half time of the total frequency if the frequency is 100 kilohertz if you say that the frequency is 100 kilohertz then the time period will be given by 1 by 100 into 10 raised to 3 will go to the top minus 10 raised to 3 okay the time will be 10 microsecond that means each cycle this is one cycle from this point to again this point this is one time period usually the transistor for a forward converter the maximum time period the, that can allow for a forward converter is half this if this is ts the total time is ts the time for which the transistor on is half of that that means ts by 2 so the maximum time the transistor is on is ts by 2 so if we further reduce this equation this 2 will be go to the top then equation become vn is equal to 2 into np into ac into bm into 1 by ts now the term become 1 by ts as we said that 1 by ts is equal to frequency is given by frequency from he, this equation we can calculate the number of turns if we know the input voltage we know that input voltage is around 320 voltage the 2 is written here AC is not is we know from the data sheets or from we can calculate from here that the AC BM if you use the material ferrite its value is around 0.2 Tesla the frequency is so 100 kilohertz if we know all, all this we can calculate the number of primary turns so for a forward converter we can calculate the number of turns by the equation if we know the input voltage if we know the area of the core and if we know the material used if variety is used the maximum flux density 2 tesla, tesla and at what frequency at which it is operating this is a pwm select we can select the desired value of frequency from this pwm ic and so by using these equations we can calculate the number of primary turns of a transformer now we put all these values we will get the value of number of turns now we calculate the number of turns required in the secondary so in order to calculate the secondary turns we have we have first of all know what is what we want the voltage here we want 5 volt and the input voltage is 300 volt the duty cycle is 0 0.05 half then we will get the ratio how the ratio between the primary and the secondary that will give so in order to get the secondary turns we have in order to get the secondary terms we know the primary ter turn and we have to multiply it with uh, this value n then we will get the secondary by this we can calculate number of primary and secondary terms